the School of Film and Media Studies in short, FMS. We are FMS agents, the ambassador Dorian unit of our school, and we will be telling you more about FMS as well as showing you more of our cool facilities. Come on in! So, why did you guys choose FMS? I was interested in graphic design as well as marketing, hence why I chose mass communication. For me, I'm interested in filmmaking, which is why I draw film sign video. And are there any textbooks that you use in FMS? No, we don't really use textbooks. However, there might be some modules that may require it. For example, the film sign and video module, introduction to film and film history, as well as the mass communication module, fundamentals of media writing. So what kind of laptops do you need? In film sign and video, we are required to use a MacBook, but if we are in other classes, a decent PC would be fine. And are there any exams? No, we don't have any exams. However, we might have many quizzes along the way in the semester. Our grades are largely based on group projects and individual assignments. So, since you guys don't have exams, what do FMS students do during the Nian study break and exam period? By then, most FMS students will finish their group projects and assignments and will begin their break, which means that FMS students will start their break earlier than others. Wow, so we have a longer holiday? Yeah! Wow! That's so cool! So what are some study spots in FMS then? The deck above Makan Place, the attic at FMS Block Level 8, as well as all the benches around the FMS Block. Let me show you one of them. Welcome to level 9. So what are some tips that you guys have to cope with the transition from secondary school to polytechnic? Okay, so classes in polytechnic are actually quite different from the classes that we have in secondary school. One such example is the fact that there is no more fixed classrooms. Instead, we have our lectures and uh, classes held in the big lecture theatres in the FMS block. And I think it will be a fun and new experience for everyone. Yeah, and lectures don't chase you down for unsubmitted homework anymore. So you're in control of your own learning. I suggest you Google some tips on stress and time management to help you cope with the new system. But don't worry, you'll get the hang of it soon. So what is the difference between lectures, productions and tutorials? Well, lectures happen in large lecture theatres with other classes. You'll basically be going through slides with the lecturer and hear them talk and talk and talk. Yeah. Anyways, production classes are where you get hands-on time with your peers. They'll happen in studios such as the TV production studio and the green screen studio. These classes happen once a week. And as for tutorials, you get time to consult with your teachers. So, how do you think HBR has changed your entire poly experience? Personally, I think that HBR has really impacted and changed everyone's poly experience, not only us. But one of the biggest changes is that, remember the lecture theatres that we mentioned before? Yeah, it's all gone. So everything has moved online and we use tools such as Microsoft Teams, Google Meets, as well as Zoom to have our classes and lectures instead. And all of the assignments that we have, which are supposed to be more physical in nature, have transitioned into something more theoretical instead. Although it might sound a bit unproductive at times, we do still have the necessary softwares such as Animate and Premiere Pro. Yeah. So what do you think are the top three most important things to bring to school? The student ID, your bike boot charger, and definitely yourself. Yep. Anyways, here we are at the preview theatre. Come on in. Hi, welcome to the only movie theatre in all the polytechnics in Singapore. So this is an 84-seater movie theatre where film sound and video students come for their introduction to film classes and their Asian cinema classes. Yep. And some of the films that we've watched in this theatre consist of the Grand Budapest Hotel, Vertigo as well as the thriller classic Psycho. And now we will pass you over to our friends. Hi and welcome to the Wall of Fame. This is the Wall of Fame that features films that were done by Year 3 film sound and video students for their final year project. They do everything from pre-production to post-production. Wow, that looks so cool. So what do you guys think is the best platform to use to talk to your friends? Hmm, well we use Telegram for its convenience. Not only do you not have to save contact numbers, you can also send large files. And most importantly, there's sticker packs too. And where do you think is the best place to eat outside near Nian Poly? Just one bus stop away is King Albert Park Mall, where you can dine in at Carl's Jr. or Four Fingers. Not just that, there's also McDonald's and Alazar at Beauty World Station. 
And the best places to take pictures near the FMS block? Hmm, well there is the big white wall near the black mirror. Or you can head over to the top of Makan Place to the leafy wall. Do you know of any other places? Hmm, I think the railings at level 8 and 9 are popular spots too. Next, let's head over to the radio room.